Steve. Thank you, Steve, and of course, thank you to DMI, as well as Congressman Guy Reschenthaler for hosting us in his beautiful district today. I'll tell you, I represent a district in upstate New York and the North Country that looks a lot like where we are in Pennsylvania today. And what I hear from my constituents is people are struggling. Families are struggling to make ends meet whether you go to the grocery store, whether you're budgeting in preparation for those home heating bills that are skyrocketing this winter, or whether you struggled this past year to fill up your tank of gas. People feel that they are working harder than they ever had before, but they're falling further behind. And the American people are smart. They know that it's a direct result of the failed policies of one party Democrat rule in Washington. And there is a better way we are here to help, and this is our commitment to America. These ideas came from the American people. All of our members listen to their constituents. I always say the best ideas come from my constituents directly. And when it comes to an economy that's strong, making sure that we stop the trillions and trillions of reckless government spending that we have seen under Democrat rule, that will immediately help lower the cost of goods as we seek to rein in inflation. Unleash American energy independence to lower the price of gas, lower that price of home heating bills. How about a nation that's safe? You see the headlines, whether it's on local or national news every day, we see crime skyrocketing. That is a direct result of Democrats' one party defund the police policies and rhetoric. And let me tell you, whether you're in New York or whether you're in Pennsylvania, we proudly back the blue. Let's give all of our law enforcement officers a round of applause. That's why in our commitment to America under a nation that's safe, House Republicans will immediately ensure that we hire 200,000 more police officers across this country to make sure that our communities are safe. We will go after the radical leftist prosecutors, DAs, who are refusing to abide by the rule of law and are prioritizing the criminals rather than the law-abiding citizens. In our commit we, commitment, we also have a future that's built upon freedom. I am proud to be the newest mom in Congress. I am a mom to my one-year-old, Sam. And I will tell you, moms and dads across this country, they know that parents are the primary stakeholders in their kids' education, which is why we will pass a Parents' Bill of Rights. And then lastly, a government that's accountable. We work for you, not the other way around. We work to serve the American people. And what we see with a Democrat controlling both the House and Senate is they feel entitled. They feel like it's the other way around, that you work for them. Not so in a Republican majority. We will hold this administration accountable. We will make sure that we are conducting oversight. We will root out the corruption and return it to the people's house. So join us in supporting the commitment to America, a new direction. Democrats have no plan. House Republicans have a plan, and it's our commitment to you. Thank you very much.